Today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at some of the unreleased vehicles in the brand new Chop Shop DLC update in GTA Online. And some of them are honestly pretty sick that I don't really see too much in GTA 5, but in RP servers mainly. So I hope you enjoy and let's jump into it. The very first one being the Declassy Park Ranger. Now we have obviously seen vehicles like this before, but we might actually be able to purchase this vehicle, which is kind of cool. But below that, making things a bit better, is the Gauntlet Hellfire Interceptor. Yes, that's right. We are getting a Dodge Challenger police car. I'm not sure why they didn't add the Buffalo STX to this. You rarely ever see Challenger cop cars. I don't think I've ever seen one in my life, but it looks like we're getting one. And if you guys didn't already know, in the GTA 6 trailer, there is also a Gauntlet Hellfire police car. So like I mentioned in a previous video, I'm not sure if you guys saw it or not, but it looks like a lot of the cars from GTA 5 are going to be in GTA 6. So some of the ones that we're seeing in this DLC, I'm assuming at least 50% or more of them will be coming out in GTA 6 as well, possibly with more upgrades like the Karen Astrope GZ that we just got is something that we've been wanting for a while. Not that specific car, but what I mean is they had an older version with no modifications or anything. They updated the model, added modifications, and will probably come out in GTA 6. And we'll be seeing that with many other cars, including some on this list, like the Declassy Impaler SZ. Not a huge fan of the vehicle itself. It looks okay, but I'm assuming it's going to have a lot of customizations. We also get the Vapid Benson Cluckin Bell Edition. I, I don't really care about that, to be honest, but I'm wondering if maybe some missions are going to come out or something like that that we have to use this for. Who knows? But then what I'm really happy about is the Canis Terminus, which is an updated version of the Mesa, which I have been saying needs to come out in GTA 5 for the longest time. I've showed you guys before the Mesa 4x4, and it looks honestly identical to this. I'm really hoping it has somewhat similar customizations because when I customized the modded version of that before, it looked awesome. But right now, I'm kind of just waiting for script hook to update, so then I'm able to go and take a look at all these vehicles and upgrade them and show them to you. But I'm very, very hyped for this Jeep to come out. Once again, another vehicle that we had in the game, they remade it and will most likely come out in GTA 6 as well. And then we have the Bravado Dorado. It kind of looks like an old Grand Cherokee or maybe like a old Dodge Durango, something like that. It looks okay. I'm not a huge fan of the old look. I would have preferred, you know, a newer version of a Grand Cherokee or a Dodge Durango or something like that or a Grand Wagoneer, whichever one it is. I would have preferred the newer version, but that's perfectly fine. And then we also got the Calvacade XL, which is another vehicle that should have come out a very long time ago, but at least we're finally getting it. And obviously this is a Cadillac Escalade. Obviously, you guys know we've had the Calvacade in the game for a long time, very outdated. Once again, another vehicle remade that'll most likely come out in GTA 6 as well, and I'm assuming it should have some pretty beautiful customizations, but it's about time that we get a freaking Escalade in this game. I mean, at least a, an updated one that looks really nice. And then we also have the Baller STD. That's a great name for a car, by the way. I'm not exactly sure which model this is. Kind of resembles an SVR or Range Rover Sport. It looks pretty cool, but you know we get a lot of Range Rovers in this game. And I mean, I'm really hoping we don't see too many more. But maybe this is the last one. It looks nice. Let's hope it drives nice and has some cool customizations, right? And then the last one, which I'm very confused about, but I'm also very, very excited about, is a Christmas vehicle we're getting this year. And that is going to be the Phantom E. Cola truck. And it lights up the trailer and the actual cab. I'm not sure what we're going to be using this for, but maybe we'll be able to store vehicles in the back of it and drive around with them. Like it would be about time that we've been able to do that. But either way, that's going to be kind of awesome to see. And who knows, maybe it'll be free. Like last year, they gave out a free vehicle. The year before that, they did too, I believe. So you never know what'll happen. I'm honestly pretty satisfied with this update, even though in terms of content, I'm pretty much done with all of it because we can only do so much in one day, like literally only three missions available inside of the new chop shop. Uh, we got almost all of the DLC vehicles fairly quickly and then only seven in the drip feed. Now, knowing Rockstar, they're probably going to extend that drip feed to last until like April, which is kind of going to suck. But at the same time, we're kind of used to it at this point. But, you know, if in the next seven weeks we get all of these vehicles, we could be expecting another DLC to come out very, very soon, which would be awesome because I'm assuming they're probably testing out a bunch of cars they want to toss into the game and they're going to port them all over to GTA 6 when the time comes. So... I'm assuming every vehicle that comes out in this game, like I said, maybe 50%, maybe 60% of those are going to be added into the next GTA game. 
But anyways, that pretty much wraps up the video. Stay tuned because I will be customizing and upgrading all of those unreleased cars very soon once Script Hook is updated. And of course, a lot more videos are going to be coming out on the channel that you definitely don't want to miss. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one.